Hi, Piscean friends. This is Carrie Mubarak at WooingNature.life. Hope everything is good for you all. This is your reading for September. It's starting to go to the end of the day, so I'm going to try to get my energy up for you guys, Pisces. You guys deserve my energy as well, so I'm going to try to pull that up a little bit. Been a little bit tired, but it's been a beautiful day. And it's going to be a beautiful September, I'm sure. So this is your reading. I don't know if I said that already. Your reading for September. Um, reaching deep down inside that Piscean well spring of joy to find out what's going on in there. Uh, just to let you know, it is Virgo season. Virgo season is a time for all of us. The sun is in Virgo. Mercury's in Virgo. Venus is in Virgo. Later in the month, Mars goes into Virgo. So it's a Virgo time for everybody. It's time for us to get inside, get our inner Virgo together and use it to our best ability or to our advantage and so virgos are known for being analytical they're also learned for known for being great organizers and great humanitarians as well so for the sake of the human race we want you to get organized okay get organized make some assessments some personal assessments during september that's everybody not just you but we're going to find out a little deeper about what personal assessments you need to make, Pisces, okay? If you want to know more about what's happening astrologically, you can connect with me on Patreon. On Patreon, I have a, uh, one of the tiers that deals specifically with astrological stuff. You can listen in every week and find out what's happening with the Star Nation, okay? All right, let's jump right into September for you, Pisces. We got a Seven of Swords. We got a Three of Swords in reverse. We've got Page of Swords. A lot of swords, a lot of thinking, Pisces. That's really not like you. Not to say you're not thinkers, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. A lot of pondering going on over some stuff that you probably need to let go of. We got a Tower experience happening, and we got the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to keep going and read a couple of more here. Four and four swords and the knight of swords in reverse. Let's just stop right there. That's enough swords for me. Okay. All right. So seven of swords is about, um, this is a card that usually represents theft or deception or somebody trying to get away with something that you don't know about or that they don't think you know about or something like that. It's really a theft in the spirit. Theft in the physical is also theft in the spirit, so I don't know if this is like for real though somebody taking something from you or whether or not it's like your energy or like they're absorbing or taking your energy. I am getting the three of swords, which represents heartbreak or difficulty or disappointment or like the wind has been taken out of your sails by something. We've got the page of swords. Page of swords means to step out on faith. It means to step out on faith. I don't think that this is where you want to be. But if you're hanging out in this area, it's time to move on. For sure, for certain. Six of Pentacles is about sharing. It's about giving. It's about um, um, being able to... It's about being in a position to receive. Six of Pentacles. Being in a position to receive. But you've had a tower experience. So if you've recently gotten through a tower experience, I'm assuming that this is it. I can only assume that that's it because that would be something if, if you broke up with somebody or they broke up with you, it's some serious heartbreak that happened and also like some theft. I get theft in the spirit. I'm getting theft in the spirit for you. So whatever this relationship was in, it seems like there's a theft in the spirit going on. It means that they're draining you out. Like this is how you know there's a theft in the spirit. When you're not feeling like you can take ownership in the relationship if you don't feel like you're being heard if you don't feel like you're being honored in the relationship in some kind of way um if you have um repeatedly asked for something specific and they don't give it and it just like every time you're around them it just drains you okay that's when you know it's time to go here's the four swords it's like taking your Taking what you got and moving on, that's what I'm getting here. You're waiting for things to come together, but it's time to like put down the swords. This is what it is. It's like you really, you either really believed in this relationship or you really believed in what was going on right here. And you really thought that there was going to be some, 
some kind of, you know, magical, it's going to all come in together. But I'm getting here that, you know, take, take your lessons here and move on. Take the truth that you gained from it and move on. We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse, Knight of Swords. Mm, yeah, you can't be in your head so much about this. That represents actually for you a level of, of um, it represents um, an area for growth and development for you. Is to not, you know, like, be so singularly focused on something that you lose sight of the bigger picture. You got to look at the bigger picture, Pisces. You got to see a bigger picture here. There is a big, bigger picture. And the bigger picture is this right here. This is the Nine of Pentacles, right? So this means that there's something for you, but it's for you, okay? It's not attached to this other person that you've been with, and, you know, and it takes you kind of stepping out from it and getting clear. You know what I'm saying? Just like taking it all off, you know, taking off all the excess and seeing things clearly and then also seeing what you wanted in your home or in your environment when you think about home it's you know some people you know these might be people that you live with or it may be a person that you're in a relationship with where you all share space but it's bigger than that it's like what you want your life and your level of comfort to look like because it wasn't looking like that it wasn't looking like that you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to be occupying space with somebody and they, um, and they're, you know, like pulling your energy from you because think about it, you know, like, I don't know, maybe somebody was, maybe you guys were getting ready to go to the next step and then somebody backed out. I don't know. It feels like that. It's almost like, you know, well, we were getting, we were, um, in a partnership and then we decided we were going to cohabitate or something. And then once we decided we wanted to cohabitate, then everything kind of, ended up falling by the wayside or something like that but it's really like a near miss or it's a save for you because you really need to go and be by yourself and think about what it is that you truly want and how you want your household to actually be because I'm getting that you don't want your household to be like this where somebody and it is draining you of your vital life force energy okay so this is um, the eight of chalices eight of chalices is definitely about going in and doing some self-reflection I'm getting that here self-reflection here and self-reflection here about what it is that you truly want don't keep charging forward trying to fight the battle all by yourself it's not worth it not worth it Pisces a lot of love stuff going on in this today okay for September and I will say this in general too I was saying it was a Virgo season and it's also time for people to do some analysis and self-assessment um, and some assessment of their relationships, too. So, you know, it definitely falls in line with what's happening astrologically. And then also during the month of September, and you can um, find this out if you uh, go to the Astro Pulse on Patreon, if you want to know more about this, like I said, but um the other thing is that there's a lot of stuff going on around families, you know, and relationships in general. It's like we have to heal that. This is a queen of wands. I think this is either you, it could be you, or it could be the other person. So I don't know who's carrying the feminine energy in the relationship. But this is somebody who's like, I don't know, being taken by the wind or it's somebody who really wants to... Um, to be able to express themselves and their uh, what they're bringing to the world out. And um, if that's you, Pisces, then this person, if they're taking that energy or trying to absorb that energy or trying to, you know, break that chain, you know, then... I would say no to that. Three of chalices. Three of chalices means things are coming together. Connecting with other people might be a good thing for you. Finding people who maybe have gone through the same thing you have. Lovers. Yeah. 
So it could be somebody else coming along for you. It could be somebody that's showing up for you in your future. But right now, I wouldn't deal with that until after you've had this time to process. You definitely need that time to process. Aquarius, um, I'm sorry, Pisces. It's definitely time for you to do that. There's an open door. There's an opportunity. Ace of Pentacles means there's something in your natural world, in your physical world, not just um, opening the door to your mind or not just opening the door to other spiritual things. But it's like physically the things that are happening right now. It's like the door is open for you to walk through it. I would take the door. Just saying. I would definitely take the door. You got heartbreak. You got the absorbing of your life force energy, I say, take the door. Yep, conflict here too. A lot of conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of back and forth stuff. You don't know what's going on. You don't know how this person is rolling. There's a lot of confusion around it, Pisces. Don't let your heart get so wrapped up into it. I know Pisces, they fall in love very easily, but it looks like it's time to start anew. There's a full starting over. You don't need any rescuing. You don't need, you know, you, you feel like you're out here, but you can... You can take off. Represented by the bird in there. You don't need anybody to come and rescue you. You just got to take off and fly. And taking off and flying means, means this. It means taking time for yourself. It means doing some real analysis of what the real deal was away from the situation so that you're not caught up in the emotional side of it. Because when you're around this person, this is what they're doing. They're like absorbing your energy and they're taking that from you. So when they take that from you, you can't think straight when you don't have all your faculties. Right. So you got to take some time out so that you don't get all caught up in the quagmire. Because that's a quagmire. This right here is a quagmire. Yep. Yeah. It's quagmire. Quagmire energy. All right. Anything else for my Piscean friends? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, uh, this is at a spiritual level. This isn't at a physical level. This is at a spiritual level. So this absorption, this kind of, this this energy that's going on with you and this other person. Yeah, it's um, it's happening at the spiritual level. It's happening at the at the level of spirit. It's not just like you know, they're eating too much food at your refrigerator, and it pisses you off. It's not about that. It's it's life force energy and you can't sustain a relationship with Pete with somebody absorbing your life force energy you know after a while you'll be drawn up shriveled up and you can't get up okay take that how you want to take it Pisces yeah so getting this star power connect to your star power your inner power the best way to do that is to go within, figure out who you are within, connect to your own inner spirit and your own inner spiritual power. Forgiveness is in order. Like this person may not even know that they're doing this. They're just doing it because they don't know how to get the energy any other way. You know what I'm saying? Some people just don't know better. It's, it may not be intentional, but it's definitely taking the wind out of you and you don't feel like going on with that. I wouldn't recommend it either. All right. So let's see, Pisces. Let's see where we are. Yep. It's time to honor yourself. It's time to honor your own gifts. You want to do that away from other people. You need to do that away from other people. So that when you come back to the relationship or when you come back to a relationship, not necessarily this one, because this person that you're with, they have to grow. They have some growth that they need to do. If they don't do the growth, if they don't do the growing, then it's going to be problematic for you. Okay. And it's not going to work. So I don't know if there was like a lot of love that you felt for this person, but they've got to do some growing because they've, you know, I don't know. Maybe they need to get a reading or something, but, you know, until they do that, you just kind of 
you don't need that. I'm telling you, you don't need it. I don't know. Like, to me, this is, this is kind of cut and dry. You just don't need it. And you know you don't need it, too, because you, you can't hang on like that. You can't sustain that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm going to pull from Sacred Rebels today for you. Kind of give you a last word about this situation that's going on. All right, Sacred Rebels. Can you please give us a final word, please, for... Pisces for the month of September for what they may be dealing with in September. Definitely take that 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 time to yourself and do self analysis. So that Virgo energy, you got to turn inward. I mean, if you need to do some outward organization too, like you know, clean out stuff, and organize your files and stuff like that, do that too. But I'm getting um, Pisces that this time this Virgo season is really about some internal cleaning and some internal organizing around um, this relationship and what it was doing and what it, what it was doing to you and what it, what was being created through it. Okay. All right, so I've got bring it into form. That kind of looks like this one. Those cards almost look just alike. This is the high priestess, your spiritual self, working on your spiritual self, working on your inner spirit and regaining that which was lost in the onslaught that was going on. 41 is the card number. 41 breaks down into a five, which represents change and also represents a state of grace. So this may be um, a near miss for you and that's okay. All right, so let's read from uh, number 41. Bring it into form. Beautiful dreamer. You can imagine wonderful worlds of light. You can dream up so many possibilities. That's spicy. Now it's time to bring those possibilities of light into the world. They need to move more. They need to be more than ideas. They need to live to manifest. The world needs not only your dreams, beautiful as they are, but also your creations. So get thee to thy desk thy easel, thy computer. Work, beautiful dreamer. Don't just dream, create. So this is great. This is actually great, you know, especially if you are coming out of a relationship um, turmoil or something and you're having to kind of get um, close to yourself. It's good to be creative during that time because you you can channel some of that energy through your creativity. You're being asked to honor yourself with a commitment to complete your inspired task. This will help you grow, and this is a wonderful reason to commit. But there is another reason, too. You know that your inspired ideas are worth translating into practical form so that other people can access them and experience something special, too. So, yeah, this is clearly a way for you to channel that energy. If you have been thinking about writing a book, painting a picture, or acting upon an inspiration or idea, then this oracle is bringing you an unequivocal yes do it now don't dally or dither about the details or worry about how it's all going to work out the universe loves a bold spirit once you take a step it will rush towards you like an enthusiastic chivalrous lover opening doors hand gently guiding at your lower back as you are moved forward you will promptly be provided with all that is needed to take the next step so take the next step I'm telling you, I think this is like a blessing in disguise. And it will be a blessing in disguise also for the other person who is, you know, issuing, issuing it out. It'll be a blessing for them too because they've got to learn too, you know, how to garner their own inner, inner wisdom and how to harness their own inner power. And if you stay there, then it's going to become a codependent thing. And you don't need that codependency energy around you because codependent energy is not um, an energy that's conducive to you being as creative as you need to be or obviously that you're being called to be right now. Okay? Okay, Pisceans.
Okay, so all is not lost. Turn all of that focus and that energy inward first and then outward through your creative channels and your creative outlets. It'll be really, really positive for you and it will also help you transition and learn how to forgive. I definitely recommend that you use something artistic or something creative to channel um, that hurt and that, and that negative um, experience through because it can really have a cathartic and a, um, and a healing aspect. Arts help to heal us they do that's why I love art so much it can really um, it can really heal a lot of wounds if we you know allow ourselves to kind of be led in that way into being more creative instead of destructive you know because sometimes these energies can feel very destructive um, and so the best way to deal with destructive energy is to just keep moving with it until it becomes something of a creative nature and you can do that Pisces you have the power to do that all right, so if you need other information, if you want to reach out to me, you can do so at Carrie, K-E-R-R-I, at wooingnature.life. You can also check out the services and the paths and the other information on the webpage. You can reach out to us through Patreon, Twitter, IG, Facebook, Tumblr. We're out there. Find your favorite channel and connect. And if you need to connect with me, you know how to do that. So as always, I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope you have a fabulous life.